Welcome to World Adventures Preschool Storytime. Today's story is Clifford's First Autumn by Norman Bridwell. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more story adventures. What's that, Sammy? Sammy wants to go hide in today's story, so we need to go find him. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and I have a dog named Clifford. When Clifford was a tiny puppy, he loved the summertime. We went to play in the park every day. On the way home, we always stopped to smell the flowers. Then summer ended. One morning, Clifford woke up to hear the radiator hissing. I picked him up so he could see out the window. He was surprised to see smoke coming out of his nose. It was just his breath in the frosty morning air. Fall had come. I put on a warm coat and took Clifford out. The park looked different. There were leaves all over the ground. Clifford couldn't chase the birds. They were all flying south. The flowers were gone and there were pumpkins in their place. Clifford had never seen pumpkins before. Uh-oh, he jumped up and Crash! Pumpkins rolled all over the street. Now, where did Clifford go? Sometimes Clifford was a naughty puppy. We said goodbye to the store owner and went into the park. A gust of wind blew more leaves off the trees. At first, Clifford was frightened. Then he started to chase the leaves. It was fun. We saw a big pile of fallen leaves. Clifford plunged in. Whee! That was even more fun! Then a strange object bounced right in front of Clifford. There was a long string on it. Clifford took hold of the string and he ran! Suddenly, a boy grabbed the object. I guess he didn't see Clifford. A lot of kids came running after the boy. One girl shouted, Hey, there's a puppy on the football. The boy dropped the ball. So, Clifford took it and ran. He crossed the white line and all the kids cheered. Clifford had scored a touchdown. The kids told me Clifford was a very special dog. They should see him now. And that is the end of our story, Clifford's First Autumn. Do you see Sammy anywhere? You do? Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
Sammy said, if you like that story, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Be sure to join us for more story adventures. Until next time, bye-bye, friends.